Omaha's weather leader, Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. Ranby factor time for this evening. I say it's a five. It's tolerable. It's kind of windy. It's a little chilly, but I think it will be mainly dry this evening if you've got some plans. Later tonight, a marginal risk of a severe storm for the western part of our viewing area where I think there may be a little bit of hail from a few of the thunderstorms. But tomorrow, an enhanced risk, so a much greater chance of severe weather eastern Nebraska, western Iowa, and northwest Missouri, particularly in our area between about 4 and 6.30 in the evening. Let's roll through the maps here. Storm predictor this evening, temperatures lower 60s, cloudy skies. 9.30, cloudy into the 50s. By midnight, we could have some rumbles of thunder, though I don't anticipate this being severe weather. Uh, as we get later tonight, we may get a little more energy in the atmosphere with the low-level jet, and some of these storms could have some hail potential, but we'll be in the mid-50s. And then that lingers into the morning drive. There's 7 a.m. There's 9.30. Then it looks like we'll get a break. Clouds, temperatures in the 60s after lunchtime. And if we get some sun, which this computer model is indicating, 4 o'clock, these are going to turn into severe storms edging toward the Omaha metro. There's 5 o'clock. There's 6 o'clock. We could have wind. We could have hail. We could even have some tornadoes with this activity. That's why we've been really heightening the risk and focusing on that time frame. 4 to 6.30 tomorrow into the metro. Temperatures didn't warm that much today. 63 for the high temperature. And we had one one hundredth of an inch at Epley Airfield this morning. A few spots had a tenth or a quarter of an inch down into south southeast Nebraska. We need more than that to clear out the pollen. The pollen is awful. Uh, 1,554 the count of tree pollen. Otherwise, the air quality is in the good range. It's cloudy. It's our camera from the Charles Schwab building at 62, 26 mile per hour wind. Cooler south where it rained a little bit more. Southeast breeze blowing everywhere and gusting uh, nearly 30 miles an hour. There's live dual pole super Doppler 7 radar. That's going to be busy tomorrow. See the clouds around here right now. Tornado watch for southwest Nebraska and western Kansas. This is the activity that we're watching to come east northeastward later on tonight and be our potential thunderstorms. And then tomorrow morning and then again late day tomorrow right there. That would be a dangerous spot if the computer model is accurate. Late day tomorrow. Well, cloudy and windy this evening. Thunderstorms are likely later on tonight. 55 degrees for the low temperature. Friday, a chance of rain through the morning drive and then a break, mostly cloudy noontime and then severe storms, a possibility. Four, five, six, maybe 630. High of 72, 75 on Saturday. Dry for the spring game. It still looks that way, but then thunderstorms are possible by five, six o'clock in the evening on Saturday. Uh, possible thunderstorms lingering Saturday night and also into Sunday drying out as we go into next week. Now, the good news, we really need some rainfall mm -hmm. here, so hopefully we get that out of these uh, next three days around here. That is so true, Bill.